just to see my little girl's face again is what I'm fighting for. The race is on to find this 17-month-old little girl missing since February with her mother, her father, searching for her ever since. The girl's father is speaking out tonight about the search for his little girl and why he believes his ex took her and ran off. RTV6's Liz Ediola talked with him tonight. You'll see it only on RTV6. Liz. Well, Erica Brooks Glick says he'll never forget the day when he came home to an empty apartment. His wife and only child both gone without warning. Each turn of the key, a reminder of what's missing behind this door. I just tried to take it a day at a time. Time something more precious than ever to Brooks Glick, whose wife Ruth and only child Maria vanished in February. The one year old's room. I should like to play with this. Still filled with objects that were collected during happier times. She really did enjoy this book, too. A gift from Brooks's father, who recently died from cancer. He never got the chance to say goodbye to his only grandchild. It is very crushing and um, it's very depressing. Uh, it's very hard for me to cope each day. The days have turned into months of missed milestones. Brooks says his estranged wife even posted a few on Facebook, like this picture from Maria's first birthday in March. But soon after, the account was disabled, and she disappeared once again. It's a lot of strain for one man and his family. Metro Police's missing persons unit has helped with the search since May. A spokesperson from the department saying they've exhausted all efforts and now need help from the community to find Maria. He and his sister created these flyers, a YouTube video. I was just a home way up there. Even a hashtag, bring Maria home. All with the hope that someone will see these images notice this little girl's face and help bring her home. It's just my little girl that keeps me going and my father so uh, just speaking inside my head don't ever give up. Brooks believes that his wife fled because he planned to get a divorce. He says that she is not a U.S. citizen and feared being deported. Crime Stoppers is asking anyone with information about this case to contact their tip line at 317-262-TIPS. That's 317-262-TIPS. Reporting live outside the City County Building, Liz Adiola, RTV6.